So the questions that keep coming. <laughs> yes. Can Deja be used outside? Good one. Um, can it? Yes, but because tiles are getting larger and larger and larger, um, our recommendations would be that something that is actually going to allow the, the water to drain um, would be probably something more suitable. So we do a product called Dietra Drain, which is what we tend to recommend, especially anything over 300 by 300, which is going to be 99% yeah. of the applications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Dietra drain is different, it's uh, installed orange side down, so that's probably the most important thing to highlight straight away. On the larger size it does say this side up, um, but it's installed orange size down and actually if you look through the membrane you'll see it's got holes in it. So it's not designed for waterproofing, this is designed to actually take water away from the assembly. Okay. If water was to get trapped into pockets or below the tile bed, what can happen through changes in temperature, especially with the winters and climates we've had recently, um, it can be minus five one week and then it can be 10, 15, 20 degrees the following week. That can put a lot of stress on tiles which are bonded um, to uncoupling membranes or, or to substrates. So we need to take the water away from the assembly so that it can drain freely. So this has got a built-in drainage um, facility within it. So you can see all those holes. It's designed to percolate through and, and take water away from the assembly rather than it get potentially trapped inside. Because yeah. I know a lot of guys will probably get it in late like that. <laughs> it's not yeah. late like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this, all right? Yeah. But that's, that's, that's useful information because a lot of times we get projects and I've seen a lot of guys been tiling um, outside and they've, they're using a lot of uncoupling membrane and they've, they've used using either the digital drain file yeah. or something like that so it's quite good information. It's important that when you're laying uh, digital drain that it's laid on a substrate which is uh, yeah. designed as, as for it's crucial. Yeah. so the yeah. water is obviously running away from the property yeah. as well yeah. so it's not this designed to be laid on a level surface to allow the water to run away through the actual channels themselves. Because I have a massive, um, I have a massive um, pool job coming up um, for RBS um, in, in, um, in Lawton and we're doing a really nice intricate work around a pool area and um, see as I said I can't get enough I was thinking of something to use, I probably would bring it anyway yeah, so, sure. but yeah. I'm here now so I know that this is something I can use around um, the pool area. Another thing to bear in mind, Thomas mentioned about slopes, um, something that often gets forgotten about is how you detail the perimeters. So obviously if this is sloping towards yeah. the edge of a, a terrace or a balcony, um, you do need to be able to leave it so that the product can actually continue to drain. So yeah. we do a range of profiles or guttering systems with weep holes in them so that water doesn't get trapped at the yeah, edge of the, for yeah. the tiled area. Okay, okay, that's nice to know as well. So.